When I grew up an only child, I think I was an only child of the worst decade there was to be an only child. The 70s, because that was the last decade where everybody was still having large families. Like my mother's the oldest of nine, my dad's in the middle of six, and that would have been okay, but all the TV shows were about large families. Like the Partridge Family, Eight is Enough, Brady Bunch. If my parents had a sitcom, it would have been called One is Way Too Many. <laughs> And any time there was a sitcom about an only child, something was wrong with the only child. Like Dennis was a menace. Ricky Schroeder and Silver Spoons, he was a brat. Webster was deformed. They even had a sitcom about an only child who was so dysfunctional, his parents had to build a robot just to play with him. It was called Small Wonder. And when you're an only child, when stuff happens, you don't have nobody else to blame it on. You know, something break, you looking around. You're the only one in there. But the benefit to being an only child is you don't have a sibling to have a rivalry with because I'd have been tough to compete with. I was class president, homecoming queen, captain of the debate team. Of course, I was homeschooled. <laughs> you know how hard it is to get your mother to vote for you? Especially when she's a hater. <laughs> <laughs>